You're listening to the Independent 89.9 HD4, and we're live on the Jamie Soundstage inside WJCT Public Media with Bad Madonna. Hey, y'all. Hi. A new five-song EP, Iron Fist, dropped today. We want to hear about that. They're also playing Jackrabbits in San Marco tonight. But right now, the band is sound checked and ready to rip. So they're going to play a song. Then we're going to talk about new music and relatively old music and much more. Are y'all ready? Let's do it. Take it away. Bad Madonna performing the song Jaded from the new EP Iron Fist out today. Congrats on the release, you guys. Thank you. Alexis Rohde, singer and main songwriter of these Bad Madonna songs. Uh, Alexis, I want to start by asking a little bit about your background in music. Uh, because the first time I heard about you, I think you were a featured artist on the Songwriter Spotlight at uh, Rain Dogs, a local venue and bar here. Uh, when did you start writing songs and, and then how and when um, did you put this ripping band together? <laughs> um, I started writing songs probably when I was like 13, 12, 13. Um, I was like picking up instruments at the time and it was kind of just a natural fun thing that I started doing. And I would play uh, just by myself at places like Murray Hill Theater, stuff like that, um, you know, like little cafes and um, just slowly over the years have kind of, you know, wanted to play in bands as I was getting a little bit older, but I was always so shy when I was really young. Um, so it's been kind of like a natural progression, I'd say. Um, I stopped playing music for like four years, probably when I was like 17, um, and moved away from Jacksonville, came back a couple times and 
I'd say like the last three years is when Bad Madonna was really taking off as like a a project that included the full band and everything. I kind of had this idea of what I was going for and thankfully like was friends with a lot of great musicians that could help make it happen. Um, probably when I had moved back to Jacksonville from New York in 2020 is when like the seeds of all this were starting to be sown. And then in the past year, we've really just kind of said, let's just do it, <laughs> you know, yeah. and started recording. And um, I'm excited to see where it goes from now, because these are all songs I've written that we've just played together. But I'm excited to see what we can write as a band and uh, kind of get away from the me being the only person writing and sure you know. yeah and i was going to ask you about that so that's a good segue um because you've had a busy 2022 as far as releases go uh earlier this year you put out the ep velvet glove which featured the single high resolution which i want to shout out because there's a wonderfully interesting music video for that tune <laughs> <laughs> with uh paper mache heads and some very lynchian kind of visuals in there but now you've released iron fist uh the first single of which was mystic seer uh, can you talk about the different approaches maybe to the content on Velvet Glove uh, to the new songs? Because to me, there's like this discernible grit and kind of heavier edge to these kind of full band songs uh, on Iron Fist. And what can you say about where your songwriting maybe was and where it's go where it, where it is now and where it's going, which you kind of uh, touched on earlier? Sure. Um, so all of Velvet Glove, those were well, I. Both of the EPs were written just on guitar for me, like sitting at home, acoustic guitar. And then there was these past five from Iron Fist that were just translated to a full band that kind of had like more of that um, just like heavier, energetic feel to it. But for Velvet Glove, those are all like really country inspired songs. I was going through a phase at that time where like I wanted to just write something like that you know listening to a lot of country music which we love I think as like a whole band we're like very into country music um so I wanted to write something like that but for the longest time I was really worried about being perceived as like only doing that and I wanted to showcase with these two EPs that you can do a lot of different things and that's okay I feel like Sometimes we can get kind of like pigeonholed into one genre or, you know, maybe writing like something, a bunch of country songs isn't as cool to people who might listen to the Iron Fist. But I think it's important to kind of see the the full picture, you know, like the, these two albums are like me as a person, you know, it's like you have the softer side with the country influences and then you have like the side that is a little bit more like uh, confident and you know doesn't really care about you know, what people might think and a lot more energy so um, I'm glad to finally have both of the EPs out and like hopefully that message comes across that you don't have to be just one thing yeah well said I mean I think uh, they both sound very natural like the songwriting seems to fit on both you know and I like how you said that it's like you know both of these are are parts of you you know mm -hmm. and together you get kind of a full picture of you as an artist. Um, well, Bad Madonna's two EPs, Velvet Glove and the new one, Iron Fist, are available on all streaming platforms. Lots of new music for your ear holes. You can also listen to tracks from Bad Madonna and other Jacksonville artists on the independent 89.9 HD4. Bad Madonna plays Jack Rabbits tonight with Sweet Lizzie Project and Everything to Me. Check out jacksmusic.org and peep our live music calendar for details. Bad Madonna, thank you so much for being here. It was lovely to have you. Thank you. This was awesome. Will you please do another song for us? Absolutely. Take it away. <laughs> <laughs> 